This that film you show me said it's my so you have to go as far as this one that have given them out one two three four five six seven eight lines to the top by Yochum Shem Rishim by Ben Yochai and in the Vilna that is um, on your Dalit Amr Alf the third line from the top by Yochum Shem Rishim by Yochai. Uh, so, says the Gemara. Um, uh, he said, I 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 said, you went through your chatzar and migdala. La chlam bezuz with the intent of eating in the chatzar and tveria. Came which had hevirim derech heter since uh, it was uh, brought derech heter, meaning migdala was not its ultimate resting place. Mutari, it's permitted. In other words, you can still snack from it, e- uh, even while you're st- even when you're in the chatzar and migdala. You're in the chatzar. Eat on the chatzar. But since you're the un- end goal is getting your other chutz in Feria, you can still stack a mikvah, which seems like a super kula, uh, especially going to be um, The um, okay, so the um, um, Asya the Shimon, the Shimon says like going like Rabbi Yosi, uh, 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 Rabbi Yuda, uh, was Matthew when you're Mavir Dera Chatzera, the uh, Rava, the Rabba, it's greater, bigger than Yosi Yuda. Madam Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Yehuda, that which Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Yehuda said is, "But I'm a Malakam tour." Yeah, but he can. We split Malakam tour. It's not the same Malakam tour in Shabbos. Here, Malakam tour means a place that's part of my sumaisus, like your Baruch Gakum. In other words, you're not in a chutzner right now, right? You got past the chutzner, but in Baruch Gakum, in the chutzner you couldn't do it. Madam Rabbi Shimon, but I'm Malakam Chiv. It's even saying Malakam Chiv, even in the chutzner Migdala. You came and shaved you on derechet and mutter, but since you, uh, you brought that through the derechet because you didn't have in mind that that chutzah should be the one which go there, it's okay. Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Midaven, Rabbi Lezer is, has a greater tradition than one of them. And Rabbi Lezer, Mari, Lezer says, We came and she's come by derechet once you started with derechet. And the midst of Mishnah and Chumas, uh, Parakal of Mishnah Gimel. You're going from the Gino to the Chatzah, Rabbi Lezer, will marry Yigmor. And this is if you can finish it. Since it was Maska Beheter, you can finish a Beheter. So the, um, uh, uh, this is greater of Shimon, because Shimon was only, uh, uh, was not here when you put, brought him into Chatzah without intending to eat them there. That was not to be Kovar. Rabbi Lezer was not there even, had a mind. Be covered in that chutzah, but since you started eating it outside the chutzah, the chutzah is not covered until you stop eating inside the chutzah, and then obviously you can't start again. Okay, now we're going on to the next part of Mishnah. Uh, that um, the um, the polim can eat from the um, polim go out to the food, uh, uh, uh the polim will take out the field when they have uh, uh, no obligation of owners, the uh, owner's no obligation of them, so. They can eat in potter, but if you have his obligation of Zonos, they can eat one by one from the fig tree itself, but not from the basket, nor from the container, nor from the mukta. Okay, so Gemara says, Nicha Kupa. I understand they can't eat from the Sao Kupa uh, because they made this like a good goren, and it's completely the is completed, and it's like uh, since the the their uh, part of this wages is the food, so therefore it's like a mechachin's kobea. But, okay, the Lomina Mukta? Mishnah says, uh, uh, you can, they can't eat Lomina Sabla Kabula Mukta. What is Mukta? Mukta means it's not Nigma Mokta. Why can't you, uh, like, see one by one from the Mukta? So, come on, Tame, tell me, like, Achas, Achas, in Tsir Chayim. Just like you say elsewhere, um, the, um, the Perak Base, Allah, Gimel, that somebody takes the figs. Uh, and uh, to eat, you can eat one or to eat one by one, because so to here, since it's in the mukta, 
Okay, the next part of the Mishnah says so we talk about something you were so hard of Poel. We want to talk with them olives and stipulated to eat, so, so you can eat one by one, but not with his mitzarif. Let's say they buy uh, onions. They can uh, scale with some probably scallions. Do leaf by leaf. So, and this Gemara says, Tiny Ve Rebbe. I'm not sure it says tiny in the home, could just be a uh, Kavanaki thing. Uh, uh, no, it's also in the, um, it's also in the, uh, in the, um, Tide Rebbe. So the, in the base of a uh, uh, Rebbe, there regards in the Ration of Mishnah, it says that, uh, so, uh, of this part of the Mishnah, so this part of the Mishnah, so this part of the Mishnah, so this part of so the uh, the Rebbe's girsa was much more lenient. Ocha kedarko potter. Rabbi Yehuda boy, I didn't ask. Man, what are we talking about? If the sachal says to me, if you hire him to work the olives, call my mother. She ocha kedarko potter. So everybody agrees he can eat kedarko uh, potter, uh, even as mitzarevit, them in his hand. Um, the uh, um, he's a pile. The pearls are teeth. So the fact that he made some sort of stipulation about his salary doesn't make a difference. Uh 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 the uh if he w- will hire him to work on the the olive trees, such as to hoe, etc., where he's not uncle the entire because he's not eating from uh, he's not working with the food itself. Um uh, so what are we talking about? He's hired him to pluck out the olives which are not good in order to make the load of the tree lighter so they shouldn't sap the strength of the good olives. This Rabbi holds that he eats me in Torah from the olives which are not good because he's putting them in, into the Kaila Baal and for them it's good Gemara Malacha. And uh, the, uh, so the, the, therefore he can eat Kedarko at his pot. But the time of our Mishnah is that in this case, he's primarily not harvesting these olives, but he's being masaking the good, he's fixing the good olives, which is going to remain to the connected the tree. So it's not a Shaz Gemara Malacha. So it's only uh, only in account of a tnai, the tnai which he made, and therefore he's now the entire because that's mech se kamekach. So again, im shecha it cannot come. We should sacha lenakishim of zaysi to uh, weed out the bad owls. Mean uh, mean the bas uh, and similarly mean the bas ra. Uh, uh, this is can be inferred from the. Not simply. You can be dagged the safer. Because it says safer, the Nakish Bimtsoli. He's hoeing with the, he's weeding out the the, the onions. Or he told, and he told him, I stipulated on condition I'm going to eat the vegetables. He can eat, uh, he can pluck off leaves and eat them. Um, uh, so the, uh, and uh the if he turns together, he's Chayev. Uh, I write in the side of Magmar that Kamenoki, the Erev Ar Yudav, does not, uh, uh, in the Buren, says that the Gemara doesn't describe, doesn't discuss what kind of Rebbe holds by eating the bad olives, which he's weeding out. It seems that it beats like the bad, uh, bad, uh, 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 the bad, uh, uh, Bad olives, as bad as be like bad olives, and Rabbi should eat, allow the pearl to eat normally. Uh, but the mother should have said this. 
And that's what he says. The Gura explains to him about where he wants to uh, plant onions, which he uprooted from somewhere else. In this case, no Gemara Malach at all, and therefore Rebbe will not argue with that. All right, be that as it may, Clash Pashtun and Gemara is that it's not Gemara Malach at all, and therefore, um, um, I don't know if that would Rebbe would hold. It's not going to go to the Rebbe here. The question. Okay. Um, The next part, uh, uh, the, the <laughs> um, still. Mm, There's a little bit of confusion here. The Kavanaki puts the next Mishnah, which is on Dav Chav Vav, over here. And uh, it's on Chav Vav in the building. In the, in the, uh, the art, I should say. In the so the Avtes Vava base in the Vilna. Uh, before Amir Rabbi, before Rabbi Chagai Shal Chavraya. Uh, yeah, because clearly this Rabbi Chagai Shal Chavraya is going on the next Mishnah. That's clear. Uh, so what should we do about that? Hey, it's Zubach. Uh, turn to the third side pages here. Uh, uh, that is. It's going with the Rashi Bilyon, and it's going to the next Mishnah. No, it's actually actually it's it's the gra. The gra too. So let's read the next Mishnah. You to turn the pages there and read the next Mishnah. Uh the uh base mission out. Matsak Titus Badak, you find um um uh the uh cut figs on the road. The few uh, uh, which are clearly in the way that they're normally meant to drive. A few, uh, but the tzad tzadik sitos and even next to a field which is full of cut figs. And so, if you have a fig tree which is inclined over the road, what's a tachte atayinim? And you find underneath it figs. Mutars mishum gezel. They are permitted. There's no issue with gezel about because there's yeush because they're soft and they get disgusting, and therefore nobody wants them. The owners no longer want them. But olives and, and carrots are tougher. They don't get disgusting. Uh, and there's, there's no use. And the chayav and maizers, and of course, we should get Matzo grogos. If you find figs uh, um, are full, completely dry, and in dirt, uh, and they're uh, and they're pressed into a vessel, as the gemara malacha. As long as they're separate, they're called grogos. Most people already uh, completed their pressing of these figs, so therefore we assume that these also are chayev. Uh, Avim lab, they know it's a, they were nikmar before the efker. Avim lab, and if not, most people have not yet pressed their figs, so then parts of their parts are because they're not going to be stay gemar b'lochet, so it goes by the more people for some reason. Matzah pilchet ve'el, we find... Um, um, uh, uh, um, slices which came off of this pressed cake, 
chayv. They're chayv. We do a shem dov a gomer. The answer came to something uh, complete. Hachruvin the carrots are so kitzur or shagav before you collect them in the head of the, the roof. Mori behem behem you can take them from them the animal will potter and you're exempt. You should mouse in some moiter because moiter because whatever's left over after the animal you're gonna put it back in the stockpile so if it's not chayv and moiter yet. So Rabbi Chagai Shal in this gemara says Chagai Shal of Chevraya. Hang back to the more here. Mawa hein p'tur detina hacha. What is this p'tur that says the k'tzitzah's name that you found are p'tur from a maestress? I'm going to say, Mishum ochel arai basale with p'tur. means you can eat them as a snack and your uh, p'tur from a maestress. I'm going to say, I've seen a mistake because they found the uh, uh do they have to tell us this? The car, this thing, I see him missing what it does. We should also have said there to Potter. That's Parshat, right? Um, that's uh, before Gemara Melacha. And we should have care. But rather, the issue is on account of have care. Uh, that, uh, not because Gemara Melacha, but because of have care. That they have care. And that they're Potter. Shkane, if this abides Potter, then you therefore, even you take them into the house, they remain Potter. Because they were Africa before they became Kufa from Isis. Uh, uh, um, and he's going to explain it, but this really gets, we're pretty far down to Chavdan Rav at this point. So, um, which is a short on So we'll come back to the explanation tomorrow.